Oh hey, it's Rob, and I'm out in the shed today. Uh, my idea is to clear out the front part of the shed here enough so that I can park the lawnmower in here and have a place for it for the winter. Uh, and I'll move the snowblower into the garage so that I can put both the vehicle and the snowblower in there so that when the snow comes I can just start plowing from the garage on forward. Um, that's my plan. Uh, the dogs have their plan, which involves a lot of play. Uh, so this is probably going to go slower than it would otherwise, but dogs. All right, it took longer than a day. <laughs> it took two days. But I am about to start the mower and uh, put it in here. So I'm gonna start this camera. Or at least I thought I was. What happened? All right, never mind. All right, I got that camera started. Uh, it's the B camera. So I'm gonna do some B roll. But there we are. We're gonna hop on the hustler. Uh, and see if we can get her in here. Hi Piper. Hello. Hello dogs. Hi. <laughs> you want you want to help me mow or are you just like I'm sitting down? All right, I'm going to put this down for a second. All right, I'm going to try. I'll drive this. I'm sorry for the shaky cam here. I'm trying to uh, get this done, but she's in. Dogs are healthy, and I have plenty of room for the other stuff in there. Uh, I'm gonna move the all the uh, bagging stuff in there as well. <laughs> Dogs found a stick, really big stick. You got a stick? You got a stick? You, you got a stick? That's a big stick. That's a very big stick. <laughs> well, it's at least fun to chew on. What is this? <laughs> Get the stick. Get the stick. Get the stick. Get the stick. Yeah. Get the stick. Get the stick. Woof, woof, woof. They are very playful. It is, uh, I don't know if it's the weather or what, but, uh, th oh, now she's got a small tree. Oh, Piper broke off a branch. There we go. That's helpful. One of the downsides of this is that I'm having to get rid of this set. There's another uh, low dresser, so it's a three-piece bedroom set. Uh, tall dresser, low dresser, and the desk. Uh, I guess the desk doesn't exactly match, but, uh, I mean, I love these. They're so cool. But, at the same time, you know, it's taken up space that I don't have. And as much as I would like to have time to restore something like this, I mean, it's got these beautiful dovetail joints. It's, it's pretty solidly made. This is a veneer. 
Um, but I don't have the time, I don't have the space, and it's got to go. So I feel bad about it, but it's, it is what it is. So here's the long dresser that matches the other piece and a dog. <laughs> and this has been inside forever uh, since you know, the 80s, mid 80s, when the house was built. Um, I've emptied the drawers out, so I'm just going to take them out and then take all the stuff off and try and move it outside. So uh, I'm going to have some cleanup to do, but I'm not going to do it right now. It's been enough of a day. This can stay until another time when it's cold outside and I need to get stuff taken to the dump. Discovering the mirror behind this dresser and seeing that it was still in really good shape I think has made me rethink um, donating it. Uh, the low dresser and the high dresser are in a lot better shape than the desk is. I think I might go ahead and donate the desk, but I'm going to try and keep the two dressers so that I can refinish them and fix them up at another time. I know that's it's a tough decision, but with the mirror, that's a pretty doggone good quality piece of furniture so it's not perfect but it's definitely restorable uh, the the drawers are made with dovetail joints um, the machining work is really really quite good wood is in good shape uh, the veneer is in good shape on those two units <sighs> I have to find a place for them which will probably be in the tent I'm not entirely sure yet but I'll figure it out Hmm, so many things. <laughs>